We are live. Hello, guys. Time to tie flies again with me, Jonas Andersson. And today we're going to do ghost fly number one. Not only today, it's going to take a bit longer, of course. Uh, it's uh, a beast of a padam. So, uh, hi, everybody. Just let me have a sip of coffee. I'm going to need it. So, Let's change the camera angle to um, the point of interest. The hook. Let me see where we are. There we are. Now we have some good focus as well. And we're going to start immediately. So uh, first of all, extra small silver tinsel, oval silver tinsel, of course. Uh, so let me just tie that one in. I'm going to read the pattern description very, very carefully today. Otherwise, we're going to miss half the fly. So just tying it in. Something like that. I'm just going to cut the left over there. Hopefully. And then we'll. <clears throat> so tight wraps then, forward. So do a few wraps. Then I press with the thumb nail, just compress it, have a look. On the side as well, you want to have tight wraps. Get the thread away. <clears throat> Hi, Dave. F first typing in the chat, at least. <laughs> so one point to Dave. I'm just continue with the tinsel. Just have a look. Looks all, all right. Bit more. Hi, David. How are you, buddy? I'm great, thank you. Especially since uh, my dyed kingfisher actually looked nice when it dry, dried out. I was a bit worried last night. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I think that's sufficient. Yeah. Yeah. I was a bit, I did lose a few turns there. So let me just add a few more. There we are. Oh, I'm pleased. Hi, Monty. How are you? So let's begin. Tail. I pad one. Looks quite nice. A bit, bit long fibers though. We're gonna 
actually trim it slightly. Something like that. Perfect. So I'm gonna take the light wax. Yeah, you told me, but you know, I haven't tried it uh, before, so I was a bit uh, nervous. But uh, yeah, that that wasn't uh, no issue. I put them on nice pressure last night, so uh, actually it did come out quite well. So I noticed I did tie it in a bit short. Pressing over the fibers, that's never good. There we are. A few tight wraps. Just to see how it turns out. I'm back again. There we are. Yeah. So, cutting that one. Hi, Del. Yeah, purple chenille. Now you're going to do that thund thunder and lightning. It's going to be uh, fantastic. Send me a picture when you're done with it. So now we need to take out a lot of feathers. So. Some red, some blue, and some yellow. My cow feathers, uh, so I think I'm gonna go, hmm, let me see, maybe two strands each, each color. And I do the same as the, that it goes, I add them first and then on the outside I add the buried wood duck. Yeah, I think I go with that. I'm just gonna cut the fibers. Hello, John. How are you, mate? Yeah, the castle. Uh, that's nice stuff. Uh, I would really need to have uh, to be able to make a good front tackle there. I had to have at least a similar one that's in the wing, but it it wouldn't really make any big difference because the Quetzal has a very very short fiber length. Uh, so. Uh, even when you read the pattern, it's, you know, uh, don't, don't make the body hackle long because the Quetzal is short as deep. Was it one fiber? Hmm. I wanted two. Let me double check. I do it again, just in case. Yeah, that's too ridiculous. Yellow is so thin. Maybe I do three. Mm. 
Yeah, three was better. <clears throat> so let's see how long we can push forward today. It's going to be uh, quite a few parts as well, this uh, one, since it's uh, the 99% of the fly is the body, really. So we want the body to look good, and, and the rest is just a piece of cake, really. I forgot to prepare these. <clears throat> And yeah, it's cutting out strands for the color in the wing. There you go. Lot of parrot feathers that we can put away. That's a good thing with a parrot feather. When you put them away, then you're happy. <laughs> so I think we go. Let me see. Red, yellow, blue. Okay, let's follow that. Oh, they don't really want to play games, so I'm going to put the strands there. And then I'm just going to make a bundle of it. Yeah, that's how I do it. So I just add blue, yellow. And then the red. And then to make it more fun, let's add the wood duck. There we are. And the other side of the wood duck. So I'm just playing around here with the Feather, get the concentration. Sorry for that. No, that didn't turn out good. So let me do the parrot first, then we tie in the rest.
There we are. So I'm just going to get the new piece of wood duck for the other side. Thick, maybe just removing a few strands again. <clears throat> there we are. Oh, yeah, I heard you had you're gonna going to have a nice holiday, Dave. Where are you going? Yeah, the path feathers are all over the place. Didn't expect anything else. But that's okay. Can play with that later. <clears throat> yeah. Up to the mosquito country. Brown bear and lynx and all those uh, funny creatures. Yeah, that's gonna be fun, mate. So we're gonna do the, the Scandinavian uh, Grand Slam. So Atlantic or Baltic Salmon, uh, we're gonna do uh, um, brown trout, sea trout, uh, char, and grayling. That, that's going to be interesting. I just tie this one down. Going back. Uh, I'm going to continue actually with the, the, the light wax. <laughs> wonder if I should play with those fiber now. Nah. Yeah, later. <clears throat> so, black ostrich hurl. Here we are. Just tie it in a bit. And this fly is going to have six sections, huh? so they need to be very very short <clears throat> yeah we use vodka for that dave plenty of it <laughs> no just kidding uh, <laughs> i i got some uh, really really nasty one called bushman it's from australia it's working
the mosquitoes are the nice ones. Uh, we, we have those small ones. It's two fangs with wings. And they are in, in a few thousands. Uh, they're not really that nice. We call them knot. So, just cutting that one off. And we're going to have some over silver tinsel. Yeah, medias. Fangs with wings. <laughs> That's what I call them. I hate them. My God. But the fish love them. And that's the important stuff. So, reading the pattern. Uh, pews. Ta da. So, silver tinsel. I go with extra small again since we're going to have so many sections. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's right there. No flies, no fish. No pain, no gain. Oops. Just gonna attach this tin cell. And the section is gonna be very short. One, two, three, four, five, six ish. So something like that. Like that. Okay. Perfect. Pews silk. This was the closest I could uh, uh, get to the pews. Uh, goggle, did the goggle the, the color? Of course, each color, like a magenta, has its uh, range for, from light to dark. Uh, but I'm going to use this one. I'm just gonna cut the leftover already. I don't wanna add too much material to the body. Completely agree there. Oof, and it just come off, come on, evil. Didn't I wax the thread? No, I didn't. My fault. Let's retry. Just want to read up, <laughs> read up the chat. <laughs> yeah, but the good thing is uh, watching me tie flies, then you can't tie yourself. So you actually save money uh, watching me tie flies. Just saying. Let's 
So there we are. <laughs> you got all the bronze man Darren. Good. Yeah, I bought like a whole bag of feather. Last time I was in the in the, the, the North uh, Irish Fly Fair. I forgot the forgot the name of it. But but then um, the Irish pluckers were over there, so they had this fantastic uh, quality mallard. So I bought like yeah, eighty percent of it. Gonna have a bit of more angle to the tinsel. There we go. Now, need to be tighter. There we go. So, after that, let me see. Pews, ribbed, silver. What do the pews cock hackle? Once again, pews ish. Uh, then we're going to have fairy brown ostrich hurl. Wield outside the beginning and cock of the rock. So then that would go first. Or the hackle first. Now I think that this one goes first. Otherwise it wouldn't make sense. So, wheeling. How lovely. Can I try? And the wheeling should be uh, that Guiana and Cock of the Rock. Might be too large. I'm just going to scale it down a lot. Maybe still a bit long. I think that's okay. So let me just cut all the fibers. So the, this pattern is a complete nightmare, uh, material-wise. Uh, it's a lot of small details. So it's going to take some time tying this one. So hopefully this weekend, we are able to finish the body. It's well worth. Uh, it's gonna look uh, look nice unless I mess it up. You never know. So I'm gonna wax the thread first. <clears throat>
Come on. And that, that's not okay. So let's redo that. Hmm. How come? Is the gap difference maybe? So there we are. Let's tying it in. Now it looks better. So while I'm here, we're just gonna cut the stems. <laughs> you can't hear me, Dave. So, just checking. Then we need to have the, the tackle. Maybe they got bored to death. You never know, Dave. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start small. I want the hackle to expand each step. Oh, let me see. There we go. So tight wraps. And the most important thing, not too many, just a few. I think one more. So that, that's basically it. So I'm gonna go back with the thread and then just tie it in and cut it off. There we go. Oh, okay. Th thanks for sharing. Sound is good. I was worried I um, started the silent one. I had issues a few videos ago. That's not really fun. <laughs> so. Let me just move this one down again. Hmm. It's a fiber, it doesn't like me. I might cut it off. Just in case. I'll pull it off. 
Uh, just gonna find the right tool. There we go. And we have a fairy brown ostrich shell, I think. Yes. So let's add that. I spent yesterday in coloring stuff and about two hours this morning just to pick out materials. Uh, so it, it takes time to prepare for some, some tying. But I prefer to have everything I need on the table. Else, you know, start uh, looking for feathers and stuff. Okay, Dave. I need to have a look at the what what they call pew, pews and see if it's close to what I have. So that turns the wrong way. There we go. Come on, build up. There we go. Not really happy with it, so I wanted more clothes. There we are. Then we just repeat oval silver tinsel. There it is. Yeah, Feathers MC got a lot of nice stuff, I must say. It can uh, get pricey when you start to look at the, their page. Because you want to have uh, like 10 of, 10 of everything. <clears throat> We are gonna add it more here. So I'm satisfied. Then just tie it in a bit. Yeah, like that. So, looking at the pattern, and this one is all over the place. So, second, medium green floss, oh, green silk, I don't like floss. Uh, ribbed oval, oval gold, ah, oh, come on. Sometimes it's good to read the pattern, eh? So this one has to wait. 
and we need to add gold. So let me see, there we are. This one is a thin. <clears throat> do I have a thinner one? Yes, I do. That's the one I want. Extra small. So tying that one in. <clears throat> On to the floss. This is the lightest I had. So it has to do. So clearly I need to have more shades of green. This one is the good stuff from back in the days, Gordon Griffiths. Uh, it's a shame. That was a great store, a great uh, company. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks a lot, David. Then I know I'm on track at least. So, tinsel time. Oof, I scared myself. <laughs> I put too much pressure on it. I might be the first guy in the world scaring himself with the tin cell. <clears throat> Gordon Griffith's still going. You sure? Because the, the, the old guy there, uh, I think it was him who was Gordon. He, he closed the, everything and I bought everything related to classic fly tie. <clears throat> Because he his son didn't want to take over the the business. And that must be in, come on, what can it be? 10, 10 15 years ago. So let me see what we're gonna have. We're gonna have our lovely pita. It's not the, uh, of course, it's not pit in the pattern, it's a uh, shattered. 
but I'm not going to use that. So I just need to find something with the, the right shape. I can go with quite small feathers since we are in the beginning of the fly. Okay, David. Thanks a lot for sharing. I didn't know that. That we have one there. Let me see if I can get one for the other side here as well. <clears throat> yeah, I might do this one. Let's try that one out. <clears throat> Just gonna prepare the feathers. And then the hackle is going to be medium green and dark blue. Uh, medium green. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> yeah, Logatun is on the go. Uh, they, uh, there was a guy in the US, I think, uh, buying everything so i think uh, he just bought it in 2016 when i was at the asfi in seattle so that's just uh, eight years ago Oh, there it is. And this one might be hard to pair because I chose two curvy ones. Don't know why. Some backs there to the thread. Then we just turn it around and gonna get nice alignment on these feathers. Then we can tie it in. Uh, 
I just cut the leftover meanwhile. Oh, <laughs> you know what I did? I cut the stem of the feathers. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. So let's do that again with feathers that I don't cut this time. So hmm, I need to find a new pair. Yeah, the tinsel is nice. Uh, the silk, uh, I use either proper Japanese silk or I get this one because uh, I get a very good price on this one. So it's not worth uh, paying three times the, the, the amount for, for Lagatun. And uh, of course, everything is multi strand. That's, that's normal. But it might be the opposite. If, if you're in the US, then Lagatun, I think, would be the. The one with the best price. And if you're in UK, there is a lady selling uh, proper Japanese silk, uh, really, really good price. I think it's like three pounds, three pounds eighty for the full. Uh, spool bigger than this one and, and any color you can imagine if you want to know that one just let me know and i write it in the the chat later so let me find a new one i forgot completely to uh, these feathers in advance. Sorry for that one. So I got that side and then that side. So let's see. Catch you later, Robert. Robert. Yeah, that's really good price for silk. And I think it's like 60 meter spools. Let me just uh, take one out so you can see. So it's like 16 uh, threads, 60 meters on a spool, proper Japanese silk. And have all the shades you can imagine. And a few more shades. Lovely Japanese lady selling those in the UK. And of course, she has a web shop and send all over the place. Sure, mate.
just ping me later on Messenger if you if you got that or uh, any other me media so I can type it for you. Otherwise, I will forget it. Not sure what I was looking with there. So, just gonna put this one with some pressure. There we go. And we have some light green hackle. I think that one is sufficient. Gonna wax the thread. Oh yeah, Dave, Fjellreven, good stuff. And we actually gonna pass an uh, Fjellreven outlet. Yeah. So, so we can stop there and you can have a look. That's the best quality jacket you can get. It's because it's Swedish. I guess, just kidding. Yeah, it's Swedish and, and a really good brand, yes. Last a lifetime. So some more wax to the thread. And now a few turns with this one. We slightly gonna extend the length. Of the hackle. Think there we are. That's going to be sufficient. It's not overtaking. Just going to cut the stem. There we go. And then I can have a look which uh, color of the ostrich hull we're going to have. I think it is the second uh, dark below. Okay. Where did that go? Here it is. Dark blue. And I can do some black backs.
This was one of the one I colored yesterday. I did read the pattern lucky enough and just realized I didn't have all the colors. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my fingers. Yeah, I can imagine Dave. You already have travel fever. go so third oval silver okay perfect I just want to make sure so I don't tie in oval silver and then it gets gold again A bit waxed thread. There we go. So lavender floss. So, of course, I did look at lavender and the color range. I would say I'm gonna go with the darkest of darkest. Uh, so actually, it's gonna be purple. Yeah, I didn't have any lighter in that shade. Uh, so for now. Purple will do, otherwise I don't have an alternative. There we go. Just cutting that one off. Let me straighten this one first. Want it to be flat and nice. There we go. <clears throat> so let's add the tinsel then. Three turns over. Silver tinsel, I go with the extra small. Tighten that one up. A few wraps. Mm. 
I'm just gonna tie everything in here really there we go so let's see what we're gonna have underneath now I think that's third cock of the rock body feathers magenta cock and medium blue yellow and magenta we have yellow we have medium blue Cock of the rock body feather. I'm gonna go with that one. So wouldn't that be? Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we got any small ones in here. Just gonna pour out everything. <clears throat> there we go. Big, big, big. Small. Yeah, we could go like that, unless we got smaller ones. Just gonna look at our alternatives. Ah, that's gonna be nice. Okay. Just stuffing everything back, except the ones we're gonna have. And yellow and magenta. So magenta is there. So I'm just gonna size it. Yeah, something like that would be sufficient. Imagine if you tied the, uh, one of these for fishing and then in your first cast with a fly, it gets stuck in a rock and the line breaks. <laughs> that, that would be so much fun. So let me see how they are size wise. Ah, looks decent. So we just shorten this one down and pair them up. And not bad at all. 
that will do. Just shorten the stem, adding bags to the thread. And I think we're ready. Swim for that one. There we go. So the pattern states that we start with yellow hackle, a few turns. Then we're going to have magenta hackle. There we go. So I think I go with like two turns with yellow, then change to magenta. Something like that. Or maybe three with three turns with the yellow, because when the magenta comes, it's gonna take over. So I go with three turns. Right in. There we go. And then we go with the magenta hackle two turns because it's so bright. Just gonna have a look at the length of it. I might have to shape it a bit. Ow, I cut the stem again. Come on. <laughs> Still have sufficient, so I just need to be careful. Otherwise, I need to go get another feather. There we are. And the problem with all these new necks and stuff is that the tapering is just rubbish, but it's very, very thin. So that gives me the opportunity to shave it a bit. There we go. Now it looks better. But today, all the next, almost everything that is out there is just rubbish. I don't know why. Maybe I need to dig into 
you know, like new delivery to see everything with my own eyes because you, you can't just order a neck on on the internet when they get it it's you can't use it even There you go. <clears throat> so I'm going to do, I think, two wraps with this one. Just have a look. See uh, how it turns out. I would say it's too short now. Hmm. Strange. I need to change feather. Sorry for that one. So going back here. I'm just going to go get the whole neck. one we're gonna take I think this one is maybe later this one I colored myself and this one is from a store which one do you like mine or the store one let me know when we use that feather. <clears throat> yeah. Yay. Good decision. So let's go with mine. Because it's a dark, darker one. It's not that uh, super bright. So let's see how long these are. They are super long. But I will do the same, but I will be a bit careful and measure first. As you see, it's you know very very long. But it doesn't matter. Just reshape it a bit. <laughs> Dave, you're no longer welcome here. <laughs> Your travel pass is uh, revoked. <laughs> Uh, 
So I'm just going to measure somewhere there. So let's tie it in. Yeah, I'm gonna look for nice Indian capes. Uh, as, as white as possible. And I'm gonna order bulky load and start to color all my necks, I think. Because then at least you get what you want. Ah, come on. I hate these clear bags. I'm gonna use the black one, sorry. The clear one isn't sticky enough. There we go. That will hold. I think two turns is just the right amount. It's gonna be hints. There we go. So just going back with the thread then and tie it in. There we go. Yeah, I want the fe feather quality correct. Uh, and Indian necks are quite decent in, in uh, the, the shape, you know, short with longer, longer, longer. Because the ones I get now is like Chinese one. That they, they have the same length in the top as in, in the bottom. There, there's no like some, there, there's no shape at all in the feather. It's just ridiculous. Buying them as white as possible, then uh, we are able to color to into any you know anything we like to tie on. So if you have like fifty necks, you can have fifty different uh, shades and colors, and you can match anything you need for the moment. Yeah, the Chinese one, the turbo. I wouldn't even tie tube flies on Chinese ones, to be honest. So let, let's see, fourth. The fourth section, uh, Claret Floss Ribbed with Gold Twist. So back to gold. So we tie the gold in. With the wax thread. And then we have the claret silk just waiting. Same here. The old good stuff. Gordon Grand, uh, Gordon Griffith. I 
I wonder if they still got silk. <laughs> I need to have a look. So I'm slightly gonna extend the length a little bit for each section. Doop, doop, doop. But the best is always the Japanese silk, but then you need to have the uh, gloves. Yeah, it's, re it's really at least, might, it might be even more difficult uh, than a challenge. So tomorrow it's gonna wanna hide my fly wallet. Live. So gold. There we go. And Because I have so many uh, that I never use. That's this one. Would be nice to write that on the plastic. So put this away. So that would be the other side. Because I, I got fu uh, full. Again, waxing thread. Just fed as a lesson. Oh, so. Remove these. Lot of clear brown cock hackle. So then short. I go get the one again because it's too. Yes, it's just going to take over. <clears throat> and as you can see, I extend in size. Since in the front later, we're going to have quite a lot of uh, Long feathers. So two turns, I think would be sufficient for the fair brown one. There we go. Oh, 
that's cutting the stem. And I think we're gonna have a light blue Oswichard. I colored it myself, of course. Yeah, light blue. So then I'm gonna use the clear wax. Oh, perfect. Could be there's a, a lot of uploads to uh, YouTube. Sometimes it can be really slow. Since it's Saturday, everybody want to upload their new content. There we go. I also like to color my own ostrich. They just become so much nicer. You can't really buy that in the stores. Looking at the fifth. Bright red floss or silk, sorry, and oval silver. Okay, let's find that one. Here it is. No, um, I used the uh, uh, fairy bluebird, so not the magenta dyed kingfisher. The magenta dyed kingfisher I save for uh, tying another chapter, but uh, on a proper fishing hook. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I like to tie on these proper salmon iron with the with the nye uh, old uh, partridge ones. I got like yeah maybe one thousand of them. So I'm gonna do, do a chapter on uh, maybe size three o or two o, and then I'm gonna use the dyed uh, kingfisher. There we go. Some wax then. And the tin cell. I hope to get my my other blacker book uh, tomorrow, or oh, Monday or Tuesday. The blacker compendium. 
I didn't have that one. So I, I found it on uh, a Bunde Books for, for a really good price. Let me see which uh, partridge it is. Sorry, I put it away. Uh, let's see. Doesn't really state. M. No, I, I don't know, mate. <laughs> it doesn't state. Yeah, it's a, a, a M, but but that that's. I think M is for the wire size. I might be wrong, but yeah, I don't know. Code M, and of course. Helen has been here, inspected. Yeah, I don't know. But that's a really, really nice hook. And, uh, you know, you, you can hook it. Uh, I even hooked, uh, you know, fish in tropical waters on them. So they are strong. They don't break easy. And I got the, uh, a question to the audience. This pattern states for, let me see, fifth. Wheeled at sides with small golden bird of paradise feathers. And yeah, I will do that, Dave. So I don't have a bird of paradise. But looking at it, when I uh, goggle, it looks like a fluffy stuff. So thinking out loud, token. What do you guys think? Let's do token then. Perfect. So we're going to do one. Let me see. Two. One, two. Maybe three on each side, so three, six in total to give some volume to it.
Come on. This a tiny. Yeah, one, one might be way tiny to tie in even. So let's go with five. Oh, and that completely turned, eh? Okay, I, I'm gonna tie this one in and then sort that one. I don't have any CDC, uh, I don't tie dry flies. Now, of course I tie them, but I, I don't really invest in material for it. But I, I think this Looks okay. Not that bad. That feels like the hook is coming loose. Eh? Yeah, it does. So before doing anything else, I just need to reattach this one. There we go. I think that uh, looks pretty decent. And it follows the line. Short, longer, longer, longer. Same with the hackle. So let me see. Fifth. Uh, medium green and claret cock and fairy brown ostrich hern. So, claret and medium green. And of course, medium green we got. But I might need to find a nicer feather because whole, half of the fibers here is lacking. So let me just pick out a bit more of that green one. And then of course we need to have a look at claret again. Claret cockack and there we go. And the green one. Medium green. This one is nicer. And this is like a standard Indian one. It's it's much better, I think. Well, it might be Chinese when I'm looking at it. So three turns with green. Yes, it's just gonna, magenta is gonna be, be less as it's gonna overpower. Oof, 
almost cut the thread there. <laughs> I don't want to have that fun. So. That's three turns. She just the tackle in. And then we cut it off. Yeah, uh, at least 500. <laughs> These are the makes I'm talking about back in the days. You know, just regular American bronze. Uh, just look at these ones. They are fantastic. Uh, you can't even buy these today. Well, come on. Just amazing. It's starting to look, uh, sound like an old guy. Everything was better before, but in this case it was. Now everything is just for uh, Pike fly fishing and the tube flies, not for proper tying anymore. So now the magenta is actually going to be in decent length. So Let's just tie that one in now. And I think I go with like two turns. Let's do it and see where we stand. That's two turns. And I, th I think that's enough. I want it to be like a splash of magenta. Yeah, completely agree with you, Dave. Modern fly tying is just a, a nightmare for, for proper fly tying. So there we go. I will see just a hint of magenta. So we're gonna add that uh, fairy uh, uh, brown ostrich shell.
that I colored myself, of course. So let's add that one. That's turning the wrong way. And that is the same there. Hmm, okay. I'll retie that one. Now I get it where I want it. Sort of. Not really pleased with that one, but yeah. Then we have the last body section, dark red floss. So to be honest with you guys, I'm gonna use uh, clarity again. I don't really have a dark red, so I classify this one as dark red. And it's gonna have oval gold. Perfect. So let's just finish that one. And then we can continue with the, all the front tackles tomorrow. It's going to be three of them. Yellow, red, and uh, blue, my cow then. There we go. So that's, that's it, guys, for today. And uh, we're going to have uh, long hackles. I'm going to go with uh, actually cock hackles for yellow and, and uh, red. And then we have a proper Macau to finish off with. 
and just to save some space. And uh, yes, I think overall it's gonna look nicer. Because uh, the, the red will pop more. Same with the yellow one, it's gonna be brighter. So we get some uh, nice uh, flow in, in the in the, the fly. So the bell guys, I will see each other as well. Uh, at least you you guys see me. Um, so I'm gonna start uh, um, the regular time tomorrow. Uh, if you guys are interesting to to um, watch, if you got time. Otherwise, of course, it's gonna be uh, available. Uh, um, later online of course uh, i always wait um, a bit before watching the lives in afterhand because then you get a, a better quality it takes some time to transfer because the original i think is uh, sd quality and then after a while it turns a few hours is turned turns to hd uh, and now it was lagging a bit yeah strange but but not not bad uh, for being tied tied live so far. Um, it's gonna look much better when we get the hackle, of course, the front hackles, etc. Then we get the whole flow of the, of the fly. Yeah, I was a kind of machine today, just to, you know, pushing through the all the moments and uh, doing stuff, and and at the same time trying to read up the chat. Uh, fantastic, yeah, really fun. Uh, so, uh, see you tomorrow, guys. Uh, and thanks a lot. And uh, we're going to send the, this one to you, Dave. Take a close up. Um, so, that's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, see you tomorrow. And we, let's see if, yeah, there we go. Some hearts. Lovely. See you guys. Bye.